<laughs> it's an evolution from the old building where uh, you have this um, very traditional neoclassical facade which you then sort of enter through that threshold and experience art within. Now we have this uh, sort of fluidity where visitors can come and experience the art garden and then be drawn into the gallery. So I think it's a, it's very, um, it's, it will hopefully also encourage a bit more of a democratisation of how people experience art in their city as well. The architecture is light and beautiful so that artists can come in and really use it as an, as an envelope for whatever they want to see. So that's one of the biggest features. The other really important feature is that it's a building that looks towards Sydney in all of its glory so that you have a vista to the city, you have a vista to the Royal Botanical Gardens, a vista to the harbour. But then also importantly for me, you've got a vista down to Wollamaloo, which is where the first migrants came through and which was also an area that was quite impoverished till not that long ago. It's gentrified now, but it's a really important area, key area also for Aboriginal people. We have an existing building that is fabulous, it's of its age, and in it we have artworks of their age, intermingled with contemporary art. But this one allows us to really engage with contemporary art in a major way, so that when artists come here, we've got no boundaries in terms of what we can do with them. And that is truly extraordinary, and it's truly extraordinary for Sydney and for Australia. Why follow when we can leave? Let Indigenous people tell their stories. First Nation voices are the key. With major commissions by Indigenous artists, the right we're really, really conscious that we wanted a gallery just for Indigenous art so people could come in and get a sense of it. But then it, the rest across every floor is about conversations with other artists and that's extremely important. I think it's wonderful that the gallery has um, this very distinctive space that can be given over to artists to realise very exciting, unusual visions that they wouldn't have the opportunity to do elsewhere.
I think Sydney's cultural life has been evolving and it's been evolving through the way that we have been evolving as Sydney ciders. And I think having our state museum reflecting that and embodying those values is crucial. We're seeing a breaking down of the silos between different categories of art, uh, not simply Asian art, Indigenous art, 20th century art. New conversations are arising from the way those works are being presented. And that's a reflection of Australia's uh, continuing multiculturalism and the way that uh, we continue and are growing our sort of how we embrace our diversity. Yes.